Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a customer and a sub-customer. Let's go ahead and start by making the customer. To make a customer, I'm going to go to Sales and then down to Customers. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to select New Customer. In the Customer Display Name fields, I'm going to type in a customer. I'm not going to choose Is a Subcustomer because I want to make this my primary customer. I'm going to go ahead and select Save. Now, what I'd like to do is make a subcustomer except for the upper right hand corner it no longer says make a new customer. To get that view to come back, I'm going to click on the word customers on the left, which is different from the word customers across the top. When I click on customers on the left, I now have the option to add a new customer in the upper right hand corner. Let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say job A. I'm going to say this is a subcustomer of a customer. I'm keeping it very generic because I want you to think about how this could apply to your business. Maybe you're a contractor and you're remodeling someone's kitchen and someone's bathroom. So a customer has hired you for the kitchen job and the bathroom job. Maybe you want to keep track of those separately. M maybe you do some sort of uh, repairs and maintenance and you're working for a company that has multiple clients, but the main company wants you to bill them direct. That's another situation where you'd have a sub customer. Let's go back and add one more so you can really visualize this. Um, let's go job B. So a customer save. When I look at my customer profile I have a customer, if I had services for job A and job B, they would be listed under their respective names, job A and job B. I would also see them roll up into a customer. When I send a statement to a customer, it's going to include the services that I provided for job A and job B. I'll demonstrate this in a different video. If you'd like to see step-by-step -step instructions, please click the link for our blog in the description of this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or if there are other videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to let us know. You can leave a comment below or reach us at gentlefrog.com. Thank you.